Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about key differential diagnosis of lower extremity bowing. Key differential diagnosis issue. Extend, isolated or generalized bowing. Bowing at knee with a local line to leg of female. Kenu varum or kenu vagum, lower extremity bowing center at knee. Virus alignment, effect of curve point away from midline is installed to affect the way toward midline. Vargas alignment, effect of curve point toward midline. Extremity distal to effect deviate away from midline. Location moving at knee which is localized to leg of female. Tibia bobbing. Infantile congenital tibia bobbing characterized by direct sense of affect. Posterior medial, anterior medial, or anterior lateral. It's associated with different etiology. Locate, localized tibia bowing in child is rarely from osteofibrous dysplasia or amanta or adamantinoma. Femoral bowing, less common and Typically associated with diffuse OSS anomaly, such as skeletal dysplasia, also genesis and pelvic tear. Mycos physiology versus pathology. Physiology can vary normal in infant. As child begin walking, type quality decrease and become vulgus. Genu varum is abnormal in child more than two years of age. Physiologic bobbing. Developmental chain of lower extremity alignment center at knee occur during childhood. Normal progression from genu varum to vagum. From birth to one year of age, normal 10 to 17 degree varus. One to two year, not more zero to ten degree virus. Three, four year. Ten, zero to degree, uh, degree virus. Four to thirteen year, not more is around six degree Vargas. Exaggerated physiology bowing virus, more common in early walker, overweight, and African American child, prominent Mali big major proximal tibia distal 
femoral metacrisis, tibia metacrisis is also mildly de depressed, should not be fragmented, as in glandulosis, sickening of major tibial and femoral cortis, metaphysial diagnosis ankle, ankle between proximal tibia metaphysis and line, but perpendicular to long axis of tibia diagnosis. Physiology bowing is typically less than 11 degree. Blunt disease is typically more than 11 degree. However, there is overlap 8 to 11 degree is considered borderline and warrant clinical plus radiographic follow-up. Accessory physiology virus typically resolve without treatment. So this is an example of C type of growing physiologic by age. So left image is the image of one years old. The middle is the third is the three years old and the right image is 13 years old. So we can see the normal change in alignment with A. And there is no more Genu warum at one year after children begin walk. This transition to Genu warum. at three years old and then decrease after four years old to minimal vagus near natural alignment of adolescent. So this is this image, AP radiograph, in a 23 months old. So Genu Verum, or more than 10 degree at this age. The knee media metaphysis are big. Sensolid arrow indicate with mild down sloping of the tibia metaphysis. Also note the major cortical signaling cyan curve arrow. Radiograph so measurement of the metaphysial diaphysis ankle. The metaphysical line, the line, connect the corner of the proximal tibia metaphysis A second line is drawn perpendicular to the long axis of tibia solid line. The angle between this line far right is the metaphysical diaphysis angle. In this patient, the metaphysis diaphysial angle was borderline at 10. Blunt disease, developmental disorder with disrupted endochondrial ossification of major proximal tibial spices, sought to result from abnormal stress on proximal major tibial spices. Diagnosis 
by progressive going on clinical exam plus characteristic radiographic chain. And one time, time one to three year, bilateral in 60 to 80 percent must differentiate from physiologic bowing. Adolescent time, eight to 14 years, more commonly unilateral. Predispose early weak walker or bestial children and African American. Major GPA metaphysis is the base, fragmented plus minor fusial pitch, or proximal major GPA and genu worm. Major meta. Meta metaphysial, geophysial ankle angle in brown disease is typically more than 11 degree and light epiphyseal cartilage and major meniscus on um, arm. So this is an example of frontal radiograph in a 15 months old girl, so genu verum with big proximal major tibial metaphysis, cyan solid arrow indicated. This girl has MDA angle measure around 12. So this is more likely indicated for brown disease. And another case, AP radiographs on the left image so down slope peaking and irregularity of the major tibia metaphysis why solid arrow indicated. So this is brown disease. Coronal G or E M O I rise image. So abnormal classification of the major tibia epiphysis and metaphysis with an osseous breed by curved arrow indicated across the tibia physis. Another example of blindness AP radiograph in a child with Blondes is so a vertically oriented major growth plate with fragmentation and spurring. Wide slit arrow indicate no the major joint space widening. Injury, growth plate injury, virus insult to growth plate can lead to physio bed. A peripheral may lead to angular deformity. Possible cause fracture, infection, medication, retinoid, radiation, overuse injury, chronic repetitive overuse can ensure metaphysical blood supply, localized disruption of endochondrial ossification can lead to virus, vulgus angulation, the panel, being upon area of growth plate involvement. Fracture malunion, less common in children due to greater remodeling. The standing AP radiograph of the ankle in 11 years of three years after distal tibia and fibular physio fracture, so what is English? Alignment of the ankle due to major tibia bone breach. Cyan solid arrow indicated. Not the grow arrest line, cyan open arrow indicated. Not the grow. There is slope majorly 
chuva de pe Congenital uh, infanta TV bowing typically unilateral congenital or infanta infantile geophysial deformities. See classic pattern characterized by direction of the upright. Posterior major typically physiological. Secondary to intra uterine positioning, plus minus associated carcinous vagus. Foot deformity, andromedial, associated with fibula hemimilia, rank of fibula abnormality from hypoplastic to absent, anterolatra high association with neurofibromatosis type 1, bowing with typical a, a junction of mid to distal one third of tibia, often with narrowing sclerosis or cystic chain at apex, may develop fracture and sedat so this is frontal on the left, image on the left and lateral image on the right. Radiograph in an age month old with fibula hemimilia, so anterior major tibia bowing. Associated with absence of fibula. AP and lateral radiograph of the lower leg in a one year old with neurofibromatosis type 1, so anterior lateral. Tibia bowing with associated cortical sickening. No fracture or pseudatrosis is present at this time. AP radiograph, so anterior bowing of the mid tibia, wide slit arrow indicated with marked constriction of the medulla space. The fibula may be hypoplastic in patients with neurofibromatosis type 1 through, though it is not in this case. Metabolic bone disease. Virus etiology can cause bowing. Recap classic childhood metabolic bone disease. Failure to mineralize cartilage, osteoid, and Crisis due to the grease calcium or phosphorus, most commonly from vitamin D deficiency, loss of zone of provisional calcification with metaphysial osteolytic cupping, praying, most pronounced at site of rapid growth, distal femia, proximal tibia, distal radius, general light bowing. So a AP radiograph, so a typical finding of big cat include loss of the dense zone of provi provisional calcification with metaphysial flaring, popping, and fragmentation, the scroll plat widening, lengthening. Note the more prominent focal bowing at the ankle. AP radiograph of the robot extremely subcarp fraying metaphase crisis and lower were extremely bowing in a child with recap. AP radiograph of fragmentation fraying and grow flat widening, lengthening with loss of the ZPC, 
consistent with the rickett disorder can cause generalized bowing of the bone. Fibrous dysplasia. Replacement of portion of medullary cavity with fibrous stroma and dysplastic trabeculum. Long bone medullary space widening, endosteal scalloping, coarse or obliterate trabeculation, classically ground glass sink, frosted or smart glass, fibrous smartic, may have more lytic or sclerotic area. Monostotic, polyostotic tend to be unilateral. Polyostotic may have syndromic association. Magoon Abrai, Massa Brow Syndrome. So this is the right hip radiograph in a girl with Magoon Abrai syndrome. So irregular widening of the medulla cavity and loss of normal trabeculation. Also note severe coxavara. Deformity of the proximal femur, thus going from a heel ring pathology fracture of the mid femur. AP radiograph, so intramedular ground glass and mass lerotic lesion. throughout the tibia and fibula with endosteal scalloping and mild expansion. The ground glass lesion are typical for fibrous dysplasia, not the mild lateral bowing dystole. Lateral radiographs in same patient with fibrous dysplasia, so central and eccentric ground glass and mali sclerotic lesion within the tibia and fibula. No pathological fracture was seen in this patient. Skeletal dysplasia. Many skeletal dysplasia can present with bending of long bone, genu verum, or genu vulgum. Achondroplasia, most common form of short limb zarvis, generalized bowing, short sick long bone, with metaphysial capping, blaring, short rod, phalanx, short rectangular iliac bone, narrow sacral sciatic notch, flat acetabular root, Bullet shaped vertebra body with posterior scalloping, progressive narrowing of the interpedicolate distance inferior in lumbar spine. Campomelic dysplasia, often fatal in infant and derulatural bowing of lower, more than upper extremity, bow female with short bow tibia. Light scar with small fish, hypoplastic scapula, narrow pelvis, dislocated hip, bell shaped chest. So, this is frontal radiograph of lower extremity in four years old boy with a chondroplasia, so bilateral genu virus. Other findings of a chondroplasia include cone. Shape distal femia, distal femoral proximal tibial metaphysis, epiphysis, small square area wing, a rounded area crest, horizontal acetabular roof, and a relatively long fibula.
เอพีรายกราฟอินโพยวิดกับโมเมลิกดิสพลาซิโซลาตรอลโบวิงออฟดิพรอกซ์มอลฟิเมียนอเดมิดเดมิดเมจับโบวิงออฟดิไรทิเบียร์แอนซอดบลาตรอลฟิบลัยโอสโตกเนสิสแอนเพอร์เฟกต้ากรุ๊ปของคลินิคอลโอสโตเจเนสมีเจเนติกดิสออเดอร์คอสบายทายวันคอลลาเจนอับนอมอลิตี้อินทริสบอนฟรักชิลิตี้รีคอนฟรักชั่นมาร์ยูเนียนแอนด์โบวิงทรีทเมนต์บีโพสปานาร์ฟิสิกาเทอราพีโอสโตเปดิกเซจรีบีโพสปานาร์สเปรโรติกเมตาฟิเชียลแบนด์ Paralleling growth plan. Contact radiograph of the lower extremity in a four months old who was born with multiple fractures, so diffuse osteoporosis abnormality include osteoporosis, so long bone with irregular diaphysis widening and bowing of the right femur and both tibia fibula. Frontal radiograph of both lower extremity in a one-day-old girl, so healing fracture of the right and left hemia, moving deformity of both the right and left tibia fibula are also noted. Frontal Radiograph so multiple fracture of both tibia and femur, creating an accordant appearance of the short rod osteoporotic bone in this patient. And osteogenesis in perfect time, considered anterior bowing of the tibia is also present. Also, fibrous dysplasia, um, adaman dinoma. OFD. Fibrous versus lesion primarily affecting tibia in children. Usually tibia diaphysis and or metaphysis can synchronously involve fibula. May represent with painless and deep bowing, pressure and pseudo arthrosis can also occur. Usually, a centric core involves anterior tibia, lucent and sclerotic solitary or multiple multifocal. Adamantinoma similar to osteofibrous dysplasia. But it's low grade malignancy, more common in older patients than ulcerous fibrous dysplasia. Difference are differentiated from, from can be seen in childhood and can be radiographically identical to also fibrous dysplasia. Varisam features include periodic reaction with permeative destruction and soft tissue extension. Lateral radiograph in same girl, so the sclerotic and lytic tibia lesion involve an anterior cortex and it is associated with mild anterior bowing and a pathologic fracture, perhaps also for process dysplasia. Thank you.